hi everyone it's Cindy welcome back to Studio Lou I'm here today with a flip through of the red fumatory fairy journal and I'm so excited about how this one turned out so let's just jump into it <laughs> so the cover of this journal has been hand painted a cherry red color and has this beautiful sort of large cabinet card style topper with the fumatory fairy here from Cecile Marie Barker and um, on the spine you have two mini bindings here that hold the pages in. This is a two signature journal and down here it says flying free and we have some mushrooms on the spine and you'll see here that there is an eyelet that has a spine dangle attached to it with all sorts of really beautiful beads and charms. I definitely finally used up um, a very special stash of beads that I've been saving from my jewelry making days. I thought that the fairy journals were the perfect way to sort of use Use some of these beads so there's sort of a red undertone to all the elements here but it's not only red I didn't want to make it too red all over the journal you'll see these sparkly bits this is fairy dust and here we have a little bit of um, decoupage on the back with these lovely leaves and every Midsummer's Eve the king and queen of fairyland held a grand ball to which all the fairies and elves were invited um, the closure is also via um, an eyelet on the back here um, and this is just a beautiful red ribbon that I've used to tie it closed and you see that we have some red flowers we have some charms here that dangle out the side of the journal so now we can go ahead and just open it up okay so the theme throughout the fairy collection when you open up these journals is you're going to see there's a beautiful paper covered spine here um, and there's going to be a pocket on the front and there's going to be a vintage photograph that I've modified by adding some fairy wings to the characters here and I just love these. These are mostly 1950s photos. This is August 1957 and these two beautiful like grandmas sitting in our chairs and this says what you may not know but fairies know. And inside the pocket here, we have a couple of things, a, a bird field guide, and then this just lovely gardeny kind of um, image. It's a little journal card. And those just pop on in there. So then we get to page one, and this paper you'll see throughout the series, it is the fairy paper, as I've been calling it. It's glitzy and sparkly and um, iridescent, and hopefully you can see how cool it is. So this one is pink, and then on here we have, um, this flips up, and you'll see back here we have a fairy and it says paid in full. This is the Storrington Village Fet ticket. Um, so this is from um, Fairyopolis, um, a, a telling of Cecile Mary Barker's story kind of, of going to a village and looking for fairies. So under here we have these little fairies on a snail and it's actually an upper tuck spot to this lovely old public domain image um, of this girl just looking at a fairy and it's been printed on some coffee dyed paper so then we flip over here and let me just get centered again here. So we have a little little bug here and some washi tape. And this is a beautiful teal and tattered fairy page. And avocado dyed paper with a fabric tab with flowers on it. And then we have a beautiful um, fairy from, I'm just gonna call them the Barker fairies. So this is a Barker fairy. And over here we have the Song of the Lilac Fairy some pink marble construction paper with um, a floral ruffle on the side more avocado dyed paper and then this is just a beautiful book page of fairies and it flips out and then I've painted it here and added some iridescent paint to it hopefully you can see that it shimmers purple um, and then there's a little snail here and some florals and just more of that amazing fairy book page 
And then this is another of those glitzy pages. They're just beautiful. This one I just left alone because I clipped this large, this, this is a large piece of stationery. And this is from Fairyopolis. Um, and it's just a beautiful bit of writing um, that is from Cecile Mary Barker's journal and just a watercolor painting of sort of the fairy woods. So that just clips on here with this rusty paper clip here. And then this is from the Flower Fairies book. So this one talks about Snowdrop and Spindleberry. And Strawberry, Strawberry Blossom. These are some of my eco-printed watercolor uh, papers. And you can see the flowers here. And then some fun gritting and dots. Um, and on this side we have a pocket here, the fairy. And this is just some beautiful paper. And then um, this is one of my butterfly tags with a fairy collage. And then here we just have more beautiful paper and this is a dictionary of fairy trees. So it folds out accordion style this way and talks about all these different trees and then on the back as well, more trees. And then more avocado dyed paper. And then this is just a beautiful piece of scrapbook paper and up here we have a couple things. So this is um, a black fabric ruffle that looks like cracked wood and a little charm here. And then this is actually a pocket and inside we have this tag. And that just tucks up in here. And then on this side, we're at the center of the first signature, and this is just a beautiful image of flowers and fairies all huddled around this little mouse giving him an acorn. And there's some nice stitching down both sides. And then we have another hidden tag in that pocket about the fairy fair. And that just pops in here. And some stenciling on avocado dyed paper more beautiful digital paper. And this is a tarot card um, from Fairy Tarot about wisdom. And then this beautiful shiny journal card from a book. More of my eco dyed paper. This page is about wild rose, willow, windflower, yarrow, yew, and zinnia. And then just some stenciling in red on the back of that fun paper. And then another beautiful book page here with a red um, fabric tab and a charm. And this side is a painted page with some strawberries in a basket. Um, this is more avocado dyed paper. I used a lot of avocado as my plain pages because of the red theme. Then some pink marbled construction paper. Another Barker Fairy. And another one more avocado paper with some um, nice fabric floral down the side another teal and tattered fairy page another barker fairy this is clipped on here um, with a, it's, it's a postcard and on the other side we have this fun tarot card about coming together as fairies so these just clip on either side with a paper clip on either side of this page which is another of the pink um, sparkly fairy paper this is some handmade paper with these long bits of this pinkish red um, plant material and i have stitched flowers all down the edge here red flowers that hang out the side and then this is a pocket here from Fairyopolis. It's got some nice writing from Mary Bark, Cecil Mary Barker. And this is a book page. And here it talks about what fairies do. Um, and then there's just some more beautiful um, writing on the back and a little quote from C.S. Lewis. Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. So it's a nice, just a nice bit of writing from a fairy book. And some avocado dyed um, stationary botanical paper. Um, and some nice fabric down the side here. And we have, um, oops, this little charm is looped on here. I just attached these yesterday and I, <laughs> I was doing it while the books were closed to try to measure how far the fabric was going out. Um, so here we have this book page, which I love of a fairy sitting on top of an Amanita mushroom. 
and it flips out and on this side it says I do believe in fairies I do I do I do believe in fairies um, Peter Pan and more avocado paper and this little pocket is made from a fairy coloring book and then another butterfly tag this one has got some red and orange themes in the collage and some nice red paper and then some avocado dyed paper here with more beautiful fabric and a little blue charm all of those charms are hand beaded by me from my bead collection on head pins and then we have some orange fairy paper it's all yellow and pink iridescent and clipped over it we have this um, this is another page from fairyopolis and it has a little secret envelope pocket in here and this is extremely delicate almost transparent in parts um, could disintegrate if handled roughly so you pop this in here and see it says a very fragile treasure it's like a bit of fairy wing and that just um, tucks in here as so and there's writing space on back and it clips right on this page here with this little paper clip this is a little vintage brass paper clip and then another um, this is a jasmine fairy and over here it talks about king cup and some of my hand spun yarn um, in these beautiful greens has been stitched down this pink um, lined paper and then this is just a little fairy wing um, kind of fabric just to give a little sparkle this is some pink dyed paper and this is vellum that's been dyed in this uh, or printed in this beautiful um, pattern more of my eco printed paper with some um, little flower petals there and this is from um, a rusty lid and this is a painty page here um, you'll see it folds out this is from a large fairy art book and it says a fairy rhyme a lake and a fairy boat to sail in the moonlight clear and merrily we would float from the dragons that watch us here Thomas Hood a lake and a fairy boat and so on this side the page has been painted for lots of journaling space and there is a bat with some fairies down here just beautiful artwork and we have another fabric ruffle here that has a charm on it and um, some bird stamps down the side this is a little dyed paper collage and the center of this signature has this beautiful fairy and then um, more collage and cabbage dyed paper and this little tag some birds up here and some cabbage dyed paper and this actually folds out and has this little bubbling fairy here and on this side this beautiful bird nest um, with fairies all around more eco printed paper and more of that vellum um, some tea dyed paper more of the fairy wing fabric and then more pink stationery the mallow fairy the sturtium um, this is just a fun little uh, over the top kind of journal card that's been tucked on here with this fairy and it's just cut in an interesting shape to go on top of the orange um, fairy paper here and then we have this little fairy stamp here this is the thistle fairy and some painty paper red on back and a little fabric tab here and this is famous fairies and it talks about all different famous fairies in legend tinkerbell sugar plum fairy titania oberon puck tooth fairy fairy godmother Cottingly fairies, flora, fauna, and Merryweather, Maleficent, and then there's some more beautiful writing book page. And this talks about how fairies look at night. And then a little tab here, and more of the botanical avocado dyed paper. This is um, this page has been sprayed. It is um, handmade paper. More of the flowers down the side, and we've reached the end here. So we have another little pocket, um, and inside of it we have hummingbird field guide and this big butterfly that you could write on or you could use in another way. I just thought they were nice little additions to include in the journal. And then we have some mushrooms down here on this vintage. Um, this is a vintage card. 
Um, so that is the Red Fumitary Fairy Journal. And I've left lots of room to add things as well as um, there's a lot of writing space. And so we can just tie this book up. And this book will be in my Etsy shop. If you're seeing this video, it is there. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. This is the first in the fairy journal series. And I have been working for months on these journals and I am so excited excited to finally get to share them with you and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this one so have a lovely day you can find all of my links down below in the description box bye for now